Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know the rest. While Vicky sings that, let me tell you, it's Wednesday the 27th of March 2019. We're at Dublin, Houston. We're heading west and south on the 11 o'clock cork train to Mallow and Tralee. Including awkward station of the day, Temple, Temple Moor. Moor. You want to say it? Welcome to all the stations. Is it me, or is there a distinctly blue tint to this train? I think the windows are slightly tinted. Dear video editors, I think it's Dan today. <laughs> and this isn't an aside, you can put this in Dan. Um, if you want to kind of de-blue the video at this point, yeah. good luck. Yeah, whilst we wait for our blue tinted train to leave, you got a picture of the of the plaque of Sean Houston. I do know my Irish history, I know why Houston Station is named as it is. However, however, like a million people, all right, 20, on Twitter were like, you should make the joke about Houston, Houston with an O, Texas, and that if the train was late or delayed, then you could be like, Houston, we have a problem. Read your Irish history and look up <laughs> Sean Houston. Uh, Sean Houston was born in Dublin and he worked as a clerk with the Great Southern and Western Railway Company. He led the Fina Aaron contingent that unloaded hundreds of rifles um, at Hoth in July 1914. During Easter 1916 he was a captain in the Irish Volunteers um, and he held out for two days against overwhelming odds until forced to surrender. He was executed on the 8th of May 1916. So I picked up some paper timetables because I love a paper timetable and I love that it's, it's so simple it's just like a single piece of paper folded. The Ross Lair line is just a single piece of paper not even folded but you can see here that the 11 o'clock train is the only one that stops at Templemore that gets three services a day, the two, the other two aren't until later uh, this evening. Also some people have been asking what tickets we've been using, uh, we've got these. These cost 160 euro, they're called Irish Explorers. And over a period of 15 days, you manually write in the date that you wish to travel, and you can travel on five days out of 15. These differ slightly from the Trekker tickets that you can get, which just allow you four contiguous days of travel in a row. Anyway, we are using Irish Explorers. I'm also excited because we're on a local hauled train. Did you realize, Vicky, there's a loco at the front? So it's a proper train. It's a proper train. It's loco hauled carriages. And I believe that there's a buffet and first class on board. So later on, I'm gonna go for a little wander and find the buffet and first class. We're on a proper train. Got a coffee, not tea on the go. It's a good day. It's a, it's a good, the sun's out. It's a blue tinted sun, but it, the sun is out. <laughs> Templemore is flashing red as the next stop. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? We will shortly arrive at Templemore. Thank you for travelling with me all there. The sun is bright, the sky is blue, Templemore, we love you. Tick. Oh, they're putting a ramp down. So we got a few seconds at Templemore. Awkward station of the day, complete. The fact about Templemore that everyone says, it's where the Garda training station is. Do you think it has the lowest crime rate in Ireland? It probably has the lowest crime rate in Ireland, but Templemore, tick. Junction. Tickety tick tick tick. 
it, uh, it's a complicated thing to train sort of coming in and out, however, that is the train to Limerick itself. Limerick Junction, nowhere near Limerick. The catering snack bar, which is located towards the rear of the train, is now open. Do you hear that? The snack bar. It's time to find the snack bar. So in there is first class. It's the two corridor one star seating. Uh, so I'm not going to go in. Don't have a ticket. Uh, our Explorer tickets are only standard class. But the snack bar is here. Two Barry's teas, please. Thank you. We've discovered in Ireland there's two types of tea, Barry's and Lyons. It's a little bit like PG Tips versus Yorkshire in Britain. And Irish Rowell seems to serve Barry's tea and not Lyons. Make of that what you will. Milk and sugar? Just milk, please. Uh, 550. Thank you. Thank you very much. Charlie Bell is where they make the cheese. Um, and on their website they say, do eat Charville in one centimetre thick slabs. Don't apologise for it. Banish the bland. <laughs> banish the bland? Yeah. <laughs> so we should get some Charville cheese and try it out. And banish the bland. And banish the bland. <laughs> Thank you for travelling with Ian Road Aaron. Please change here at Mallow for your connecting train. You've taken a copy of Go Rail magazine. Go Rail. Go Rail. I don't know who Gavin James is, but take a copy. It's a timetable connection, so even though we're about five minutes late, it should uh, it should be waiting for us. Yes, yes. Do you remember what the world was like when it wasn't tinted blue? No. Me neither. <laughs> And that is our train. So this is our train. This is our driver. That's the train we were just on. So we can't go until that train has gone first. Welcome to Mallow. Rathmore Station. Uh, we've had we had a lot of double track on the way down to uh, to Mallow. Here it's a little bit single track, uh, and our CSO, that's the customer service operative, tells us that we definitely won't leave until the one up from Tralee comes up. So we're gonna we're gonna stand here for a few minutes. This is quaint. No, it's cute, you, but you've switched to cute. But I think it was cute and now it's quaint. It's tipped into the... I, I think I think it's because we've come into the south, the southwest. So, so maybe instead of a scale that is like 180 degrees, maybe mm. it's actually, it's a 360 degree circle. It's like cute, 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 cute. Quaint, 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 quaint. Something but you're giving Rathmore some quaintness. Yeah. Okay. Because look at the old iron bridge. Old iron bridge. It's lovely. Signal box. Level crossing train. We saw the train come in. I mean, I'm just glad not to be in a blue tinted world anymore. <laughs> It occurred to me, it's a bit like The Matrix. You know how in The Matrix everything has got a slight green tint to it? Oh, sure. Yeah. I don't think I'm as familiar with The Matrix as you are. So the Houston to Cork service is like The Matrix, but just with a blue hue. <laughs> blue hue. Blue hue. Maybe that could be the title of today's episode. <laughs> blue hue. That's fun to say. <laughs> It 
was the lady driver. It was the lady driver. I, I said thank you, driver. So we made it to Killarney with a gorgeous old sign where, interestingly, the train comes in yeah. and then it has to reverse out again yeah. and then it has to change directions again to go around a curve of track to carry on up, up to yeah. Tralee. Sort of yeah. Vicky, change Jeff. Place. Thanks so much, okay? Thank you, no, thank you so much. Enjoy going on, okay? You're on, you're on video now. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, Kalani Station is nice and all. It's really it's, nice. It's cute. The town is cute. Yeah. But there is another reason why we chose to get out at Kalani. Would you like yes. to introduce that reason? Welcome to Ross Castle. Ta da! Can I go and look round? No, we haven't got any time. Yeah, we've got time. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> This is the incredible Ross Castle. It was built in the 15th century uh, by the O'Donoghue clan. It's what's known as a fortified tower house, um, which is very different to the kind of Norman castles that we have in the UK. It's a very tall, square tower. Um, the lower floors have the arrow slits for uh, archers and defenders to, to fire out of. At the top, you get the uh, living apartments, the, the great halls. They also have what are called machicolations, um, which if you can just see here is the overhanging section corner of the tower here which allowed defenders to throw things directly down onto enemies below. Fortified tower houses like this were built by Irish lords uh, to denote authority and control over their land. The history of Ross Castle is a centuries old struggle between Irish lords and Irish control and the English wanting to gain control of Ireland. Ross Castle is on the edge of what is now known as Loch Lian, and it's said that the chieftain O'Donoghue uh, is just sleeping at the bottom of the loch um, and every seven years he awakes and he rides around the loch on a magnificent white steed and if you're lucky enough to see him um, it will bring you good fortune and good luck for the rest of your life. Not today. Three minutes early. Um, tomorrow we do uh, cork and cove, and, which I'm very much looking forward to. And a bit of local Irish bant uh, that we've heard is that if you're from Cork, they say that that is the true capital of Ireland. So we'll be joining in with the Irish banter. I'm going to get us kicked out of Ireland, Jen. <laughs> no, I just want to have some of that fun. The, the local <laughs> commuter system in Cove, uh, sp spelt C O B H, tricky. And we'll do that tomorrow. Okay. You're right. You're right. All right. See you then. Thanks. This is episode. We're up to four or five now. I I've forget. Lo I've lost track already. <laughs> I've lost track already. Bye. Bye from Tralee. Bye from Tralee. Press subscribe down oh, below. Kick the bell. <laughs> Hit the Smash that oh. button. Smash that button. Kick it. Kick it. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hold on, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. Kick, oh. kick the button. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. Like that. Not. Sit. <laughs> there we go. Do it again, do it again. Say kick the bell. <laughs>
<laughs> no, wait, the...